I am the knock on your door in the night time. I am the shadow in the dark. I am the... I'm playing now. I'm Arnold, man. Simple plain Arnold O. Cheng. Some people know me as Snakey, man. Actor. Musician. I don't know, man. Nudist at times. I'm a local boy. I'm a local lad still from, from Brixton. I loved growing up from, from South London. I love Brixton. I love the culture. You've been busy as well. You haven't been in London. Where have you been? For the last, let's just say, probably like six, seven months, I was away in, um, I was in the States filming, filming a new film. I landed the lead role in a new Warner Brothers film uh, produced by Ron Howard and directed by Philippe Falado. Um, called The Good Lie, starring myself and Reese Witherspoon, which obviously was a proper, like, without it sounding corny, but like proper, like a dream come true. I've been acting for years since I was a kid. From a child actor to an adult actor, from like your Grange Hills, back to adulthood and, you know, Top Boy, and then, you know, doing British films, to actually getting to a point where I've always dreamt of getting to, like, you know, playing the lead in Hollywood. So it was a proper, Proper dream come true. When you found out, when you got the call, was it like, was it a phone call? Was it an email? Ah, oh, brother, I was gassed. I was super gassed. Once the auditions were done, everybody was was to fly home, innit? Like, you, you was gonna go fly home now and then wait if we hear it or not. And um, the director phoned me, and I'll never forget it. He phoned me, and he was like, "Oh, Arnold," and I said, "Yeah," and he was like, "I got some bad news for you, man." Ah, oh, bruv, my heart sank. I was like, "Ah." Oh. I said, yeah, what is it? Then he goes, you're not going to be home for a good couple months, buddy. But he didn't register in my head. When he said that, I just said, I swear to you, I said to him, I said to him, I'm not going to be home for a couple months. Okay, cool. Thanks for the opportunity. Do you know what I'm saying? Then he goes, no, 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 no. He goes, no, Arnold, you got the part. And then I was gassed in it. I think that night I went, I went to a bar and just started licking off any drink that was there, but I just went in. Because to me, it was like, well, just the other day, I was in Brixton, Morley's eating eating chicken and chips. It's mental, bruv. Especially where we're from. That don't really happen to a lot of brothers, do you know what I mean? So, and at this age as well, so proper grateful for that, man. It comes out in September in the States. Don't know the date yet, because they haven't given us a date, but they, they, they're aiming for September in the States. And then um, later on, other countries, I don't know, maybe January, February, I'm not too sure. So what's that hat on your head, man? This, I don't even mind if the, the, the hair's not cut. This is, um, this is my brand still. Um, it's a movement that, that I started, it's called Wave Gang. It's an acronym. It stands for Winners Are Victorious Every Day. We always value everything. And then your gang is your, your crew, people you hang around with, like-minded people, that's your, it's like cool in the gang. One thing I'm not, I'm learning to be now, is a, is a designer. I didn't learn to do it. I didn't learn how to make clothes. I don't know how to design. It grew organically. I wasn't trying to be that, but people liked it. It grew and people were just feeding the movement. So then that's how it came to be. I see it from the website, www.wavegang.co.uk. Because as I said, it's a movement, isn't it? Basically, it's just, a, 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 as I said, a gang of friends, a, a collective of friends who come together, who all share the same vision and do their thing. We're all separate artists, but we all help each other out. And that's what it's all about. You got a tape out right now, Wave Gang tape? Yeah, man, it's a mix um, done by Fire. I got a big em up, man. Always there supporting and doing his thing. It's got um, a few of, obviously, a few Wave Gang tracks in there, but it's got all the biggest tunes right now. So that's out now, actually. You can go get that from Voila London. I bet people must tell you all the time, like, would you prefer music or acting? Yeah, all the time. I feel like the UK always pigeon, like, put people in a box. They always want to put a name on something. Like, you can't do one, you can't do both. You've got to choose one. And I don't feel like that's the case. If God's blessed you with many talents, do what you can. The new music that I'm doing now is different though. It's different though. I showed fire the other day. It's different. I'm coming from a different angle because I've grown. I don't even go under the name of Snakey Man anymore because I've grown. I want my fans who's grown up with me as Snakey Man from the grime and spitting and everything and Lord of the Mics and UMAs. And I want the ones that have grown up with me from Channel U days musically, I want it to grow with me maturely to the music I'm making now. Do you think the scene's been young for a while now? Like we need more, I don't know, mature thoughts? Like what I mean is you see in hip hop, yeah. you see in hip hop now, the idea of having a girlfriend 10 years ago was ridiculous. People like um, Wiz Khalifa wearing 
is it, is it, is it, is it tights? No, not tights. Leggings. Leggings. Like, leggings, like, he, jeggings, like he's proper wearing a thing. You know what I mean? This time he's got a buff thing, like Amber Rose at home. It is allowed, like, it's like the scene is changing, do you know what I mean? I think people are just being more open and more mature, which is always a good thing, I guess, do you know what I mean? So I think people, I think there is, people are ready for it. People are ready for change. And people don't like change, but it's something that's always guaranteed in life, you know what I mean? And you have to be prepared for it, so... Oh, yeah, I'm down for change, man. You cool with Jammer? Yeah, yeah, man's cool, man's cool. That was just a, that was just a little glitch in the road. It was, it was, it was banter. He tried the thing, sent back, and that was... Yeah, have you ever been to the bump or Bang Bang? Oh, bro, I love the bump, man. I love bump, I love Bang Bang, man. It pops off, you look at the girl, yeah, the clientele of people you have there, yeah. It's the right one, do you know what I mean? You have the right balance of females. And the thing is, what I like as well, you have like industry people as well that's there. That, so it's, it makes it a good, a good place for people to network. Because you have everything from all different sides of the spectrum. You have everyone there, come to have fun. And I feel like it's a place where you can be yourself. 